Today, I'm going to live stream uh, registering a .eth name and setting it up. And uh, people can feel free to ask questions as I'm doing this. Uh, this is just a demonstration. So I'm gonna share my screen. All right, here we go. All right, so this is um, our homepage, ens.domains. It says decentralized naming for wallets, websites, and more. You can scroll down and learn about what ENS names can do. So one name for all your cryptocurrencies. You can receive payments in any cryptocurrency with an ENS name. Uh, we're the most widely integrated blockchain naming center by a lot. So, you know, 181 integrations. Um, you can do decentralized websites. Um, you can even use some DNS names on ENS. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into this. I'm going to show how to get a .eth name. Uh, but you can get like a .xyz name on ENS if you already own that on DNS. Uh, that is for another video. Tons of other features here. If you want to see where you can use ENS names, you know, we've got tons of wallets here. here I'll just open this up here. 45 wallets. You know, I think like 125 dApps or something like that, and a bunch of places where you can do um, decentralized um, uh, websites. Okay, so I'm here at this website. I'm going to go to Launch App. So this is our manager app, the ENS manager app. So first thing I need to do is to connect my wallet. So I'm going to hit Connect here. Um, you know, we support Wallet Connect, all these other providers. I'm going to go with MetaMask here. Okay, so I'm connected. Um, I had already signed into MetaMask. If you weren't like signed into MetaMask or had done this before, another thing might pop up asking you to sign into MetaMask or choose which MetaMask account. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a test, test name here. This is on mainnet, by the way. Okay, test. How about test, test, name? Or how about ENS Guru Guy? How about that? It's available. Apparently nobody else is, nobody wants to go by ENS Guru Guy .eth. Okay. So um, I can, you know, the default is to register for one year, but I can actually register this for more years if I want. You know, I could do a hundred years here. So you can actually, some people think, oh, you have to like pay every year. You can if you want, but you don't have to. You can pay ahead if you want. Um, so I'm just gonna do one year here just for demonstration purposes. And so that's about $5 a year for a name of this length. Just so you know, three character .eth names are $640 a year paid in ETH. And four characters are $160 a year in ETH. And then five characters or longer are $5 a year um, in ETH. Why the difference in price? Because shorter names are far more rare and um, more desirable. And so it makes sense to have them cost more proportionate to their rarity. And the idea is like, look, if you have a three letter name and you're not getting $600, $640 worth of value out of it per year, just get a five character domain name and let someone else use that three character name. Um, okay, so this is the ENS cost right here, the, you know, the roughly $5. Um, oh, someone is at my front door. It's not my kids. Um, but of course there's an Ethereum network fee. So we're trying to estimate it here. So the, the fee is about, you know, $70 right now, $71. That's a lot. Um, so know that going in. Sorry, right, I'm gonna hit request to register. I'm going to bump up the fee here. To, um, Okay, so this is a three-step process. The first step, you have to basically say you want to register the name, but you do it in a way that doesn't tell miners what that name is. Then the second step is uh, you wait for one minute. And then the third step is you actually complete the registration. The reason we have this two transaction, three-step process is to prevent a, a, an attack called front running, where if you were registering names in one, all right, so the first transaction just confirmed. Um, so now we're just gonna wait for one minute. If we just did it one transaction, then miners would be able to see, oh, you're registering that name. Um, let me register that name ahead of you 
and then try to sell it to you for more. So it'd be, this would be a terrible front running attack that would mess up the whole system. So this simple three-step process um, uh, fixes that. Okay, so we're just waiting one minute here. Nice uh, waiting for one minute with you guys. You can uh, go do something else or while you're waiting. Just so you know, um, once you've done the first step, you have um, 24 hours to do the third step. So you don't have to do it. So it's over at the one minute's over. You don't have to do it right away. If you like do the first step and forget about it and come back, you know, in a few minutes or later that day, that's okay. But after 24 hours, the, um, the first step is no longer reserving your name. Okay, so let's click to now do the final registration. This is gonna cost a lot. Yep, see $66. Um, okay, so just submitted the second transaction, which is the third step says transaction pending. And as soon as this is um, confirmed, then the name is mine. So I put a higher fee, so it should go pretty quickly. That TX stands for transaction. So it's transaction pending. This part here is we're just waiting for the Ethereum network. Okay, it was confirmed. Perfect. So that's it. I now own ensguruguy.eth. So let's now go to manage. So this is the uh, records page for it. You'll notice that this is my Ethereum address here. I am the registrant and the controller. And I, I can explain that in a second what that means. We automatically set up. So the resolver is sort of like the record set. Um, and this is all automatically sets up the uh, the record set that we manage it's called the public resolver. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. And it all also automatically sets your ETH address to your um, Ethereum address. So this name, if all you're wanting to do is get a name and have it resolved to your Ethereum address, boom, it's already ready to go. You're, you're already set. Um, let's talk about some of these things here. So registrant is the Ethereum account that ultimately owns the name and it has the power to set the controller. The controller is the Ethereum account that can set the records. Now, in most cases, it's gonna be the same. Um, you know, you're gonna be the registrar and the controller, but this is useful in case you wanna maintain ownership of the name long-term, but you wanna have like a service, maybe set records for you temporarily or something like that. So that is really useful. Um, okay, so down here, this is uh, records. So these are just a couple different types of records you can set. You can actually set far more records than this. So we're gonna hit add edit record. So you can put a BTC, a Bitcoin address here, a Litecoin address, a Dogecoin address. If you wanna do, let's say a near address or EOS address, go to add record addresses and you pick the coin here. So let's say we support like over a hundred blockchain addresses here. Um, so let's say I wanted to set a, a BNB address. Our friends on the Binance smart chain can use ENS um, to receive payments. Um, so BNB, I can put a BNB address there. In fact, I'm going to do this right now. So I'm going to go to another name I have here, Brantley.eth, and take my BNB address. I'll put that there and hit save. Now, no, this is just kind of put here. It's not confirmed onto the blockchain yet. I'm going to get a Bitcoin address. Let's get a Litecoin address, some old school Litecoin. Let's get a Dogecoin address. As you can see here, you can have tons of addresses. I mean, and this is even just a fraction. You can have, you know, there's like a hundred different blockchains here, you know, XRP, you know, WAN, you know, Tron. We support Tron. Uh, we support tons of stuff here. So you can check that out. Um, this is not confirmed yet, just so you know. So you can also uh, put a content record. So content, you can put like an IPFS hash or a swarm hash or a SIA hash, we just added that. We're gonna have more information about that coming out soon, but a SIA hash is network here. You can even have a Tor.onion address. Um, and then you have text records. So you can just, and this this is just like, you're just making this information publicly associated with your name. So like, 
I maybe I want to put my Twitter account here, uh, my GitHub account. I can put a URL. So, um, so let's say I'm going to do Brantley.xyz is my website. I can put an email address, an avatar. This is kind of cool. I'm going to do this. You can put a URL of an image here. And then there are some places where this will show up, that image will show up next to your name. I'll show this to you here in a second. So I put a bunch of records here. I need to add them to the blockchain now. So I'm gonna hit confirm. And notice I can add all these records in one transaction, which is really useful. So I'm gonna hit confirm. And I have to now do this in MetaMask. It's a super high gas fee, it's out of control. By the way, while this is, so this is transaction pending now, while this is confirming, um, I'll say a word about the transaction fees. So they are super high. Uh, me and Nick Johnson did a live stream talking about our plans for scaling ENS and trying to reduce fees um, just a few days ago. So look in our Twitter feed, you'll find that. Um, there was also a Twitter thread that explained our plans there. Uh, the bottom line, we're working on it. Uh, we're, we're working on getting certain parts of ENS um, onto layer twos in steps. Um, so it's gonna, it's gonna take a few months to kind of really start to see some benefits, but um, we're working on it. Okay, so that's it, we set those records. So right now, if I, you know, you can do this if you want, um, open up Coinbase wallet or Trust wallet or something like this, and you can send Dogecoin to ensguruguy.eth. That will work right now. Uh, there's one last thing I wanna show. So I'm gonna go here to my account. So this would show every single ENS name that I own. Uh, this is a fresh Ethereum account, so I only have one, the one I just registered, ENS Guru Guy um, But it's here that I can set something called reverse record. Uh, this is really, really useful. With this, so normal forward resolution is where I type in a name and it resolves to, let's say, a cryptocurrency address. Um, uh, reverse resolution is where I have an Ethereum address and it, res and it resolves to a name. So it's the other way. This is useful. So like if I uh, log into ADAP, ADAP will have my Ethereum address by me logging into it. Um, but if they can do, a re if I have a reverse record set, they can see, oh, that's associated with this ENS name. And it'll display that ENS name instead or alongside that. So like as your username, I'll, I'll show this here in a second. So I'm going to uh, reverse, set this, um, it selects, I can, I can only have, my Ethereum address can only resolve to one name. So I have to pick one of the names I own. Uh, so in this case, I only have one name. So I'm gonna select that enesguruguy.eth and it's save. Okay, why is this not working? Okay, here we go. First time I clicked it for some reason did pop up MetaMask. Okay, so I just submitted the transaction on MetaMask. Again, I'm paying a ton in fees for this video. This is a very expensive video. Um, so I think this is helpful. So it says transaction pending. It should, I, I put the highest fee, so it should go pretty quickly here. You hear some voices in the background. It's just my kids just came home from something. That was the sound. Okay. Transaction confirmed. Okay, boom, it's set. So I'm actually going to just refresh this page. Boom, right there, here on the left hand corner. So here it used to say have some like automatically generated image and used to just have my Ethereum address. Now it says enesguruguy.eth because I have a reverse resolution setup. And then because I have that avatar in there, it can also display the avatar. And uh, let's go to another website. Let's go to one of my favorite dApps, of course, uniswap.org. I'm going to go to the, the app here. Okay, I'm currently still logged in with one of my other accounts. Change. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, I think I have to change it here in MetaMask. Connect. Okay, so I connected my new one and ensguruguy.eth is right there. And it shows the ether that I have in that account, which is not very much. Okay, uh, so that's really, really cool. 
actually, I think there's one more thing I want to show. And I should have just done this when I was setting the original record. Um, let me go to the page here. Um, okay, I'm going to set up a decentralized website here. So I'm going to go to almonit.eth. This is almonit.eth is a great ENS um, decentralized website search engine and directory. I'm going to actually have ensguruguy.eth point to their website. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to hit confirm. And then I have the MetaMask thing, set it to fast, confirm. So now we're just waiting for that to be confirmed onto the blockchain. Transaction pending. Should happen pretty, pretty quickly here. Transaction pending. Okay, confirmed, boom. All right, so um, the IPFS hash is there. Um, and I can now access that website at ensguruguy.eth right now. So if I go to um, ensguruguy.eth slash, because I have MetaMask in my browser, boom. It worked. It already works. And you can hit discover up here and then um, look at all these different websites. This is all organically done. We're not like setting up tons of websites or anything like that. Um, okay, another way to do it is uh, ensguruguy.eth. If you just add dot link, this is a service that we set up uh, with Cloudflare. Um, that will also also reserve, uh, resolve it. Boom, there we go. Notice that it worked right away. There was no like DNS propagation or anything like that. If you've ever set up a website before, sometimes it can take a while. It worked right away. So there you go. That is how you, you I mean, in just a few minutes, we registered a dotty theme. We set up a bunch of records. We even, you know, had it point out a website. We added an avatar and everything. We set up the you know, reverse record here um, and we're rocking and rolling. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna just see here if there are any questions on this um, thread here. I'm looking on Twitter. Okay, I don't see any questions there. So um, thanks everybody for watching. And um, yeah, you can get your own, you know, dot ETH name at app.ens.domains, you can go there. If you wanna go directly to the app, or if you just go to ens.domains, um, you can get to the app by clicking launch app, it's also up here in the corner. And you can also learn more about ENS. And here's all the incredible services where you can use the name that you get. Here we go, it's incredible. All right, have a good day, everybody.